Today we're going to begin activity 2.2 programming with procedures. For this activity we're going to look at creating what we call the charades game. Have you ever played charades with your family or friends? In this game players have to silently act out a word or phrase while their teammates try to successfully guess the word or phrase. In this activity you will begin to develop your very own charades game app. You will work to analyze the code that has been pre-built for you in the app and then work to reduce any redundant lines of code. Let's go ahead and take a look at the requirements for this app. It is important that we review the game descriptions for our charades app before beginning our programming. Our game requirements are as follows. When the game starts, we want the actor to start the game by touching the word or phrase button. The word or phrase appears in the middle of the screen. In order to play the game, when the actor is ready to act out the displayed word or phrase, he or she should touch the start timer button to begin the 30 second countdown. The actor will silently act out the displayed word or phrase and the actor's teammate try to correct guessly the word or phrase before the time is up and the timer buzzes. If a teammate correctly guesses the word or phrase before the time is up, the actor shakes the device one time to indicate a correct guess. Now in order to advance to a new word or phrase, the game displays a new word or phrase whenever a correct guess is indicated or when the device is shaken. Game displays a new word or phrase whenever the time is up. The game will display a new word or phrase if the actor touches the skip button or whenever the game advances to a new word, the timer is reset to 30 seconds. In order to score, one point is added to the score for every correct guess. That's when the device is shaken. One point is also deducted from the score every time the timer runs out of time without the player correctly guessing the word or phrase. One point is also deducted from the score for every skipped word or phrase. In order to reset the game, the score, timer, and word displayed can be reset when the game is over. It's now time to decompose the problem or break it down into smaller steps. We will need to refer to the game requirements and the app UI presented in the view layer. To decompose the problem into smaller, more manageable parts, complete the following chart in your check for understanding. We will need to determine the different events that you think will happen during runtime. We will also need to describe the event handler that will handle each event. Here is an example of what your event handler chart should look like. Let's take a closer look at how we would fill this out. For our event handler chart, we're going to be focusing on six different types of event handlers. First one we're going to be looking at is our word phrase button and what happens when that is clicked. The second one is when the start timer button is clicked. Our third event handler is what happens when the reset timer button is clicked. For our fourth event handler, what happens when the skip button is clicked. For the fifth, we'll be looking at what happens when the reset game button is clicked. And our sixth event handler is what happens when the device senses shaking. Now for the when word phrase button is clicked. The only thing we really need to have occur here is that we are going to be displaying a random item from that word phrase list. However, when the start timer button is clicked, here we want to be able to start the clock component to count down from 30 seconds to 0 seconds and display this information on our user interface. For the reset timer button, when that is clicked, we need to stop the clock component and reset the time display back to 30 seconds. Now when we get into our skip button, we have two items that need to occur. Item number one, we need to be able to decrement the score by one point and display that new score. For our second item, we'll need to display a new random item from that word phrase list. When we click on the reset game button, we'll have three different items occur. We'll reset the score back to zero and display zero in the score label. We'll stop the clock component and reset the time display back to 30 seconds. Last but not least, we'll reset the display to be blank. Now what happens when our device senses that it's being shaken? The first thing that has to happen is that we need to increment the score by one point and display a new score. For our second item, we'll need to stop the clock component and reset the time display back to 30 seconds. 
And last but not least, we're going to need to display a new random item from the word phrase list. So this is our event handler chart that we will be using to decompose our charades game app. 